Good evening. It's William here again. Uh, I'm back for a new Logic Bots tutorial. This one is on 2-1 uh, wall maze. If you remember what you were taught, taught when you were small, you probably heard that if you get, ever get lost in a maze, you should always you know, stick to either the left side or the right side and follow it, and eventually you will find your way out of the maze. We're going to apply the same logic for this level. We're going to make our bot follow the right side all the way until it finds its way out. So, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to place our main body. I'm going to use the P6S for this one. And if you guys haven't done this already, remember to add snap lines. They will make it so much easier to place wheels and accessories on the bot. Um, you can add new ones by um, pushing the add snap line here. So, uh, I have to place my wheels. You see, when you have the snap lines, the, the wheels attach to them, making it easier to, to get them in the right place. This uh, is a fairly straightforward map. Um, what you are going to need is a ultrasonic ranger. That's the only thing we're going to use here. And uh, remember I said I want to follow the right side, so I'm going to place this one on the right side. Um, Alright, so what we want to do here is to make our bot turn right all the time. We're going to achieve this by placing a NOT gate. Remember, NOT gates, gates are active when they don't receive any signal. I'm going to show you how it looks. Yeah, the bot is going to turn, turn left. You can see it in the construction view as well that the, the left wheel is now turning all the time and I saw that I forgot to place a caster ball like that, sorry for that guys yes um, what we then want to do is to place a less than gate and we're going to need a static static value generator as well. So when the the sensor sees the wall and if the range is below a preset value, let's say uh, 0.8. Okay. Then what we want to do is place a let's see a signal splitter. So I'm going to show you something here. Um, the way I built it now is that the left wheel is going to keep turning all the time until the sensor sees uh, sensor that has a, a wall within 0.8 meters. Then it's going to stop the 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 wheel from turning and instead drive the the right one. So this is what happens. The left one is always on and the right one is only on when the wall is closer than 0.8 meters but at the same time it's gonna break the circuit to the left motor. Let's speed this up and see what happens. This way it will it can make it through the whole labyrinth but um, I'm not sure if it's going to do that. You have, it's, you have to do a bit fielding with it. I believe the easiest way to to finish this map is to place another signal splitter like that. And instead of um, of breaking the circuit to the left motor, we're going to make it reverse whenever the wall is within 0 0.8. Let's see what happens. The wall is going to be fairly slow, but it 
it will probably find its way out of the maze on the first run. Easy as that. I'm gonna be back soon with a, another tutorial. See ya.